is our last cast video segment for the show here today. We've got John Martinez from John Sporting Goods in studio. And one of the things we talked about today uh, was catching black sea bass and lingcod and stuff off the jetties out on the Washington coast. Ocean Shores and Westport in particular are the two, two jetties that are the most popular. Guys have been doing very well out there catching bottom fish. And John, what are some of the things that guys need to bring out there with them? You've got some great little jigs. Yeah, you know these jigs are these jigs are real simple. You've got a two ounce lead head, so you can use two ounce or three ounce, and then you can put these rubber tail worms on there. This particular one is motor oil red flake, and this is another good color. It's called smoke silver flake, and you can just thread them right on there. So you're talking about a forty cent worm yeah. tail and a lead head that costs about a dollar. This mm -hmm. is real inexpensive tackle compared to, you know, flasher and squid and some of the stuff that we use for salmon. Those are easy uh, to rig up. Those are made by Outlaw Baits. Right? That, that's right. Okay. And you can just buy them separately and put them together. That's the best way to do it. Don't mm -hmm. buy them pre-rigged. It's too mm -hmm. expensive that way, especially in the type of fishing where you're fishing off a jetty. You're going to be losing a lot of gear. This it's is pretty snaggy. You oh, don't yeah. go buy two of these and go fishing because that's a long walk out to the mm -hmm. jetty to go out there with two jigs. Oh, and, yeah. Because you need a dozen jigs to go fishing. Mm -hmm. and have them all set up ready to go. So now you're bringing a spinning rod loaded with braided line and you're running a, what, a mono leader on the end, 20 to 30 pound mono leader, and, uh, and you're pretty much good to go. You walk all the way out to the end of the, end of the jetty and, and you just cast around the end of the jetty or kind of what's the, what's the drill up? Well, the, the secret is having your spinning reel completely full of line because the more full of line, the longer you're going to be able to cast. So cast as far as you can cast and then start working this and you cast out there and let it drop and then twitch the tip. Reel down, twitch the tip. Now, the secret to catching rockfish, whether you're in a boat or fishing on a jetty, is watch that belly in the line because when that belly in the line scoots out, that that's a bite. If you're Sam, if you're if Sam, it comes tight just momentarily. You got to fish. You strike it. You strike it. it everything. Yeah. Um, if you're used to trout fishing where it's nibble, 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 strike, you're not going to catch mm -hmm. one. Yes. Watch the slack in the line. Reel down pull up real fast mm. and, you, and you're jerking and hard. you're just hopping that jig along you want to get it down deep so it's just over those rocks and just kind of work it up the face of that of that jig yeah right? and this, this jig just think about when the the tip pulls this it pulls it up mm -hmm. and then it drops mm -hmm. and these little tails you'll watch it in the water they swim like a real oh, fish oh yeah yeah that's fun and, and berkeley makes some great uh, little swim baits uh, obviously, but they're going to be a little more expensive than this. So this is a very inexpensive way to go. And lingcod season op opened up out there today as well. And I, I mean, you could get into some big lingcod off the jetties as well. Yeah, and you can use the same rig. Now, a little tip for lingcod, if you want to make this a little more elaborate, you can take fillets of herring and salt them the night before, salt them real heavily, and you can put a fillet right here on the hook. Uh, sometimes the lings like a little bit of extra meat on there. Oh, yeah. And if you, salt, yeah, if you salt that real heavily, then you'll be able to cast real hard without the bait. The other thing that works good is that bulk, uh, what is it, gulp, uh, that comes in the sheets. Yeah. Uh, the, what is, what's the, what the heck is that? Well, I can't even remember it, what it is. Well, it's the salt it, water gulp. It comes, it comes in sheets, it comes in anchovy yeah. and herring and some other flavors, but you can use the herring or the anchovy mm -hmm. and Jen just put a little Cut sliver a little strip of that. On there. And, and that actually that works pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And well, there you go. There's a great thing to do when you, we got all these clam seasons out on the coast right now. 20,000 people head to the coast every weekend. I would imagine a few of them might go out to the jetty here uh, uh, fairly soon on the next dig and give this a try. You want to watch the weather though. Uh, if you get a big swell, obviously it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a crapshoot on the end of those jetties when you got a big swell crashing across there, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, will will uh, weather related, and so you just have to watch it. You have to watch it real close. But you know, you go clam digging for an hour, and then you have the rest of the day to, yeah. to do something. So go look into this because yeah. it, it's something that you and your family can do. You can take your family down there if the Weather's not too bad, and rig them up with some spinning gear. And you can just use inexpensive reels to do this. You don't have to have expensive tackle. Mm -hmm. But you do have to have a good rod. You have to have a 9 or 10 foot rod, because you have to be able to cast a long distance. You have to be able to cast 100 feet or more. Yeah. And that's, that's, that sounds like a long ways, but that's not too far. Now, when you got braided line, this braided line casts so so great nowadays, you can hook that thing out there a ways. And, and I would imagine, hopefully, we'll get some reports in here from guys doing it. Fun deal. Go get your limited clams. Maybe get some sea bass or a link caught off the jetty. Uh, that's been our last cast segment here at the Outdoor Line at 710 ESPN Seattle. Thanks for watching.